Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In the previous video, we formulated the loss function for logistic regression classifier. Uh, here, we will use uh, gradient descent uh, to numerically minimize the loss function in order to find the parameters of logistic regression classifier. Uh, we saw that we cannot, we do not use analytical solution for logistic regression classifier, despite the fact that uh, uh, loss function is uh, a convex function. Instead, we use gradient descent uh, to numerically minimize the loss function to numerically optimize the loss function. Okay, let's begin. Uh, we'll quickly recall gradient descent. Uh, we do, for gradient descent, we defined this update in each iteration. Uh, a parameter theta j is updated by subtracting alpha times the rate of change in the loss function with respect to theta j and here alpha is uh, called the learning parameter uh, which is greater than or equal to zero the intuition is that this partial error or partial theta j defines the rate of change in the loss function with respect to theta j and alpha is uh, alpha greater than zero is a step size or learning rate so we take a step size in the direction of negative of the derivative along each parameter so so that was that's how we define gradient descent right and we also wrote uh, the pseudocode uh, of gradient descent algorithm we begin with some theta we initialize the sum theta and we keep on updating to reduce the loss function until we reach the minimum so the idea is we repeat until convergence and we initialize with some theta uh, we repeat until uh, convergence and in each iteration we update each theta j uh, with with this formulation and we do for each i is equal to 0 1 2 d remember we have uh, d plus 1 features in compact notation we can write using gradient uh, notation the theta would be updated by theta minus alpha times gradient of the loss function uh, with respect to theta. Uh, we also note again here that in each iteration we carry out simultaneous update. We update each theta before using thetas in that iteration. Right? So we do not use the updated thetas in the iteration. We use the, the values of the parameters updated in the previous iteration to update all the thetas in the current iteration. So we carry out simultaneous update of the parameters in each iteration. Okay, so if we want to use gradient descent, we should compute this partial L over partial theta j, that is the derivative, the partial derivative of the loss function with respect to parameter theta j. Okay, let's talk about the computation of this partial derivative. Uh, how to compute this uh, we first start we start with loss function formulation uh, since derivative is linear uh, derivative of loss function with respect to theta j would be equivalent to the sum of derivative of cost function for each instance with respect to theta j right so for convenience uh, i'm going to compute the derivative of this term which is inside the summation with respect to theta j uh, i'm going to drop the dependence on uh, dependence of xi and yi on i so i'll be simply using x and y so we compute derivative of this term and uh, since uh, y is independent of theta I can take derivative inside the brackets so we get a uh, derivative of the log is 1 over h of theta of x similarly derivative of log of 1 minus h of theta would be 1 minus 1 h of theta right and uh, here I can get derivative of h of theta with respect to theta j and here I get derivative of 1 minus h of theta with respect to theta j so if uh, 
I take negative outside. So, okay, I have skipped one step here, which is partial derivative of partial theta j of one minus uh, h of theta j. Uh, would be simply equal to uh, negative of derivative of h of theta j. Right? So we can take h of theta j derivative outside. So I can get this term and this term. Right. So now I will be computing only this derivative. Uh, if we use uh, the formulation of h of theta we had for logistic regression, we know that h of theta of x is 1 over 1 plus exponent of minus theta transpose x and similarly 1 minus theta, theta is exponent of minus theta transpose x divided by 1 plus exponent of minus theta transpose x. So noting this we can write this derivative uh, in this form. If you take derivative of this what we get is minus 1 over 1 plus exponent of minus theta transpose x whole square derivative of 1 plus exponent of minus theta transpose x which is simply minus exponent of minus theta transpose x so negative would be sign would be cancelled and what we get is is this term times the derivative of theta transpose x right and uh, I can expand this yellow term as a product of two terms. So exponent of minus theta transpose x divided by one plus exponent of minus transpose x and one over one plus exponent of minus theta transpose x. What about the partial derivative of theta transpose x? If you recall, what what was the formulation this is theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 and so on and so forth and if you take derivative of this with respect to theta j so you are only left with xj because theta naught would be gone theta 1 x1 would be f j is equal to 1 you only get x1 if j is equal to 2 you only get x2 right and so on and so forth right so the partial derivative of theta transpose x would be simply x the jth component of x right and uh, if i use h theta of x and 1 minus theta of x here I can express this derivative very compactly in this form. H of theta of x, which is this, and sorry, hang on. Yeah, so this is H theta of x, and the other term is 1 minus H of theta of x, right? So this should be here, and this is coming here. It's a product, so I can change the order right okay uh, so we are almost done we have computed the partial derivative uh, for uh, one training instance so if i again substitute back uh, the ith notation right? so this is the derivative uh, we had which we have computed for this term and if I again substitute, if I take, uh, rewrite this h of theta, 1 minus h of theta, uh, and the numerator I get y times 1 minus h of theta minus 1 minus y h of theta times, uh, uh, I have substituted this value here. Right? Uh, so this would be cancelled with this. Right? And in the numerator, you get a simplification. Uh, you get y minus h of theta of x, xj. So we get a very, very simple formulation of the gradient of the derivative of one term of the loss function with respect to theta j.
If I use, if I take negative sign outside, I can write h of theta of x minus y x of j. So probability true label difference times uh, the value of the feature along which or or along the dimension um, uh, where we have taken derivative. So because we're taking derivative with respect to theta j, so this should be xj. If I uh, write overall uh, partial derivative of the loss function with respect to theta j, so that is derivative of this term which we have already computed and you take a sum over all all training samples which is simply a summation of 1 to n h of theta xi minus yi xi of j so this negative sign here would be cancelled with this negative sign here and then therefore we're not getting any negative sign and the final form of partial derivative of the loss function with respect to theta j right so we need to compute this uh, partial derivative for each j is equal to 0 1 uh, 2 uh, to d and we come we use this to update theta j in each iteration of gradient descent and we keep on doing this until uh, we converge to a global minima or uh, we do not get a significant difference in the parameters or either in the value of and the loss function right uh, so that was gradient descent for logistic regression uh, we stop here and in the next video we will continue with multi-class logistic regression